Some of the world leaders who are meeting in Davos, including some of the financial leaders, to talk about uh, the state of the banks and uh, global economy. And actually, they think it's in a terrible state. Uh, not all of them, but a lot of them do. Nouriel Roubini, who predicted the last uh, downturn, is very concerned. Uh, last week, we showed you George Soros' quotes. He says the best case scenario is that we have fairly disastrous deflation, which destroys uh, uh, you know, so many parts of the economy and the ability to recover. Uh, and he said the worst case scenario is quite likely, which is a global economic financial meltdown. And it turns out he's not alone either. A uh, very influential leader, in fact, the leader of Hong Kong, Donald Tsang, uh, came out and talked. Now, he had apparently had a role in rescuing uh, the, the Hong Kong when there was the Asian fiscal crisis uh, many years ago. And he said, compared to that and compared to even 2008, what's coming up in Europe might be even worse. Here's some quotes. Quote, I've never been as scared as now about the world what is happening in Europe? And uh, when asked, uh, look, how bad could it spread? Uh, for example, Hong Kong actually is not that exposed to European banks and, their, and, the, and the bonds that have been issued in Europe. So why are you so concerned? He said, quote, we do not know how deep this hole will be when the whole thing implodes on us. Nobody is immune. So now that's some very strong words from a guy who is not reactionary at all. So uh, he's trying to put out a red flag there saying the whole world needs to be concerned. We might have total meltdown. And once the European banks or the American banks that gave to Europe go down, everybody goes down. And that's why people like Tim Geithner have been doing what they literally call extend and pretend. They keep giving money to the banks so they can extend the time period and pretend that they're financially healthy when they are not. Look, that's a financial time bomb. And you could only extend and pretend for so long. You could only put so many band-aids on it before it blows up. And now you've got world leaders and financial leaders saying, tick tock, tick tock, we're in trouble. Now, I don't agree with Donald Chang's um, overall uh, idea for how to rescue it. He says, basically, uh, Europe has put in about a trillion dollars into this rescue. And they might have to quadruple that, put in four trillion. But that's another extend and pretend, if you ask me. I mean. Where are they getting the four trillion from? I mean, everybody's just printing money, pretending that uh, it exists, and then uh, trying to make sure this thing doesn't go under. But at some point, all that is bound to blow up, and it might, interestingly, be the Germans who lead to that demise. Not because they've done anything wrong, but because they're the ones calling BS on all this. So they, everybody's going to the Germans saying, "Come on, come on, extend and pretend, give a couple more trillion dollars, so that Greece doesn't go under, so that Spain and Italy don't go under, so that the whole world doesn't go under." Well, uh, their finance minister, Wolfgang Schauble, there's no way I pronounced that right, but I'm having fun, uh, said, quote, you spend money you don't have on the bills of others, and that's the wrong incentive in a functioning market economy. At the end, you have to pay your bills. If you spend at the risk of others, it's a strong temptation. Everyone will fail on this temptation. That would be the wrong method in fighting the causes of the current crisis. Now, I generally agree with him. But when the Germans pull the string and go, yeah, nine, 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 no more money for you guys in Greece or anywhere else, the whole house of cards might come crumbling down. So we have that to look forward to. Listen, it's bad news. And unfortunately, it ain't going to get any better. And as far as I can see, no one has come up with a real way to make it any better. The only solutions are either do nothing or extend and pretend. Those are not good solutions. So ultimately, we're on the clock. Tick tock, tick tock.